Welcome back, everybody. I'm Elijah from Breck Latin on Air, the podcast for emerging artists. Today, we have our guest, Jay Phil. How you doing tonight, sir? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Peace, peace, peace. Tell everybody a little bit about what you do. Man, I'm just a content creator, man. I, I love making beats. I love showing people how to make beats. I just have fun with it, man. You know, that's pretty much it. And I'm just always sending that peace and positive energy, man. That's what I do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, you know, for everyone knows, I, I've been a huge fan of Jay Phil for quite a while now. And, you know, he's definitely helped me uh, find inspiration. You know, when you when you hit beat block and you need to find new ways to create music, um, Jay Phil on his channel, he goes over different ways uh, to make a beat. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So tell everybody a little bit about uh, how you started making music. I basically started as a kid, man. Um, I started listening to my mom, who's a musician. And, you know, she was the minister of music at my church. I grew up. So there was always a piano in the house. So I just tingled around on the piano, man, basically. And, uh, you know, there was a show called Yo MTV Raps you know, for the youngins who okay. might, not, might not know, <laughs> you know, uh, I used to just try to mimic every last video that I heard, you know, so, and just try to copy it and just develop my ear. So I, I knew nothing of sampling at that time. I just tried to mimic what I heard on the keys. That's it. And, yeah. I, and you know, it just built up from there. So yeah, you started with the keys and now, you know, it went from that to where you are now. How did you find your sound? It was just a combination of listening to my favorite artists and, you know, just really kind of using those techniques and just feelings that, you know, just trying to curate what I love to hear. It was like trying to figure out what was it about this certain music that I liked and just try to, you know, do my own interpretation of that. That's basically what I did. Okay. I tell folks all the time, it's like, you know, you, you're the only person that can do you no matter what, you know? So everyone, that's what makes us all individuals. Yeah. I can't do you. You can't do me, but we can have like little concepts and create our own sentences with, you know, the same words, but we're going to, we're all going to have different sentences. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yep. I, so. I completely agree. And uh, you said a no trap policy. So uh, just from your perspective, what, why, do you, why do you say, why do you have a no trap policy? Okay, I'm so glad that you asked that question because I don't want people to, <laughs> I don't want people to get this twisted. When I say no trap, it's not that I am against trap music at all because I rock with a lot of it, you know? Yeah. And I've actually, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I've made trap beats. You know, I've made a lot of trap beats, but it's just a preference thing for me. And when I say no trap, it's basically because of the We Do Beats community that was curated by, you know, yours truly. Okay. And so when we got on the, the Facebook group, that's what it is. It's a Facebook group called we do beats and it's for like-minded producers and i just wanted to create something that was trap free because trap is everywhere you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah i just wanted just a space where cats would be like i don't want to worry about trap i just want to do <laughs> you know just deal with the boom bat the lo-fi the soulful raw beats underground yeah. you know stuff like that yeah so it was that's all it is there's no hate against it and that's part of the model we ain't hating. We just ain't doing that over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that that's basically where that came from. With you making the beats that you do, where do you see hip hop going from your perspective? Basically, I see where it's going now. It's continuing to evolve, man. So it's like, you remember how a lot of cats back in the 90s used to, I don't know how old you are, but you know, like back in the 90s, a lot of cats were sampling everything in the 70s. Yeah. So nowadays you're hearing a lot of cats sample things in the 90s. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it's just a it's, a, it's a cycle of life. So as time progresses, 10, 20 years, you know, from now, people are all going to be sampling things that's out now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So it's just a, it's a continuous evolution. So yeah. that's where it's going to go. And then an, another thing is with the technology that gives so many people so many different opportunities 
to uh, create in their own way. And it's a lot easier now because you have so many websites that create, you know, loop packs and sample packs. And the thing that's that, you know, people have to be careful about is, you know, everyone using the same loops. Yeah. So in my mind, it's forcing us to be more creative. Yeah. So, you know, you don't want to sound like somebody else because they might have that same as loop. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So do you have any... Uh, advice for upcoming up, up and coming producers trying to make placements or monetize their beats. Okay, so when it comes to trying to monetize your beats and, and trying to chase placements, here here's what I would say. You know, concentrate on building your audience. You know, try to build a following. Don't even worry about trying to chase you know placements and trying to monetize everything. A lot of cats. You know, the problem is. People see all these big time producers or people that quote unquote made it and they don't realize the work that it took to get there. You yeah. know, that that's a that's a, a thing we have to get. We have to kind of throw that out. You know, people need to see the work and you don't really see the work enough. Yeah. So here's my thing. Build an audience. And how you do that is you're going to have to create value for people to notice you. Like, okay, oh, man, I like what he's doing. You know, show what you did, you know, because nine nine times out of ten, someone wants to know how you did what you did. And can you do another one? You know what I'm saying? So when you create value, you're having more people come after you, man. And then people will, like, want more of what you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're creating value. So just build your audience and then – you know, you will get more attention that way. And then you'll be able to monetize and do all the other stuff. Yeah. Creating relationships, yeah. things of that nature. Don't just go like, like try to think about what you can do for someone else, not what you can gain out of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because then people, it, it's like a, it's like a, a mutual thing. Like if I'm doing something for you, you're going to want to do something for me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have to think about those relationships rather than, I, 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 I want to get this. I want to get that. I want to get this. So, I mean, how long have you been doing this, by the way? Boy, I'm about to feel old right now, but I've been doing <laughs> it for over 10 years now, man. You know, wow. I, I've known cats come up to me and be like, man, I've been watching you since I was a kid. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because my dad, he's a, he he watches a lot of your videos as well. He's he's part of the reason why I started to uh, watch some of your content as well. And there was one question that he he wanted me to ask you. He's like, okay. when are you going to change that intro? <laughs> you know, the number one, I would say the number one question that I get is like the music intro. Like, where it, where can I hear that? Is that a full beat? <laughs> no, no, it is not a full beat. It is just a YouTube intro that I made that was meant to be 30 seconds long. <laughs> yeah. Now, eventually I might, you know, um, uh, release it as a full beat but i would have to go back because you know i've done that beat like years ago yeah, man years so ago. you know yeah <laughs> and so it's like you know you ever you ever listen to the steve harvey morning show man the yeah. radio show he's had that same intro <laughs> since 2000 i yeah. believe you know what i'm saying it's like it's part of the show so i feel like that's it's just my thing yep. man i might change the intro i don't know how do you stay inspired to continue to make content and to continue to make beats because myself, shoot, you know, after like three weeks of just making beats, I'm just like, all right, I need to take a break. You know what I mean? But I get on there and I'm like, shoot, there's like some fresh ideas is coming to the table. How do you stay motivated and inspired? From listening, man, I, I keep my ears open. And if I hear something that like really moves me, that inspires me to make a beat. I'm like, oh, man. Or even if I'm not listening to something, I could just see something. I just, I could just be out and about and just walking in the park and just a feeling I get, you know, just enjoying life, nature, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's a feeling, it's a mood and I will get inspired. Another thing that inspires me are, you know, cats asking me questions or just complimenting me. That makes me want to keep going and keep going and keep going because I feel like I have something to share. I have something to give. I guess that's what motivates me the most. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone has their own journey. 
So my journey might not be your journey. Someone, you know, that's why some cats can blow up in a year. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, that's just their journey. Don't hate. That's just their journey. Yeah. So, you know, just, uh, you know, just be patient. And what's, what's going to happen for you is going to happen one way or another. You know what I'm saying? Well said. So just every everyone has their own journey, their own road. So just live, just keep doing you. So what was one thing uh, you were glad that you were glad to think for that you did earlier in your career that is paying off now? I was glad that I took a cautious effort to not give up, but stay consistent no matter what. I had that mentality from day one. Once I decided to do a YouTube channel, I was like, man, don't don't quit. You got to keep doing it. Keep going, <laughs> keep going and keep. Now, when I first started, I was only doing like maybe one video a month. So I was very, very, very slow. Yeah. But as time progressed and as I learned, you know, I got better. And so then that made me more consistent. But at the same time, I knew that I wasn't going to quit because I knew that it was going to take time. I knew from day one, I was going to be running a marathon yeah. and not a sprint. Yeah. So knowing that early helped me tremendously. So did you work full time and pursue your YouTube uh, channel at the same time? Yeah, I was. Okay. So I was working a full time job, man. Um, and I would say, and I did, I've done a ton of jobs, man. Um, but I would say back in 2016, 2017 is when I quit my day job. Okay. And then I, I, I made it to the point. Of, okay. So what I did was I saved some money because I knew I wanted to quit. I was like, man, this, this job is taking too much time from what I w really want to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I saved some money. Okay. I was smart. It's like I'm not I'm not stupid. I ain't just gonna quit and then be broke. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope. So you know you gotta have a plan. So I made me a plan. I wanted to make enough money where I could survive survive for six months without a job. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So once I did that, I like, bye y'all. I quit. You know. <laughs> yeah. I put my two weeks in, and that was it. Right. Yep. And ever since then, man, I just went full throttle, man, and have not looked back since wow so it, it's a blessing man wow congrats man so cool man before i go check out your uh your song synth bump um i just got one final question is what's next uh for j phil more content man just more value just pushing out as much as i possibly can um i am currently working on um more ebooks actually to be converted from ebooks to paperback books now so like you know a lot of my ebooks you can get online but, but i wanted i wanted to convert them to like actual paperback something that you can touch okay. something tangible you know so i've been getting a, a lot of requests for that so i'm in the process of doing that and converting all my ebooks and uh what else more music more courses and you know more videos that's yeah. pretty much it more more sample packs because you know yes I, I definitely, definitely gotta, more sample definitely packs check yes. those out jay phil it was a pleasure to have you on on my show tonight um it was a good good interview i really appreciate it no problem man and thanks so much for having me of course i'm gonna go check out your beat have a good cool, night cool. all right peace all right ladies and gentlemen that was jay phil um I've been a fan for the, uh, of that dude for, for quite a while. It was a blessing to have him on the show. Um, yeah, he, he's got, he's got some, some good knowledge and, uh, he's given free game. You know what I mean? If you, if you're just starting, uh, to pursue your, uh, music career, whether it be as a producer or even as an artist, um, there's some elements that he's putting out there, you know, like he would, uh, show us techniques of other producers that are well known and he does a dang good job at it so i recommend you guys go check out his content if you have not already i really do enjoy the fact that j phil does what he wants with his music um and that that's just that's just it you know what i mean just to go out and actually experience someone who is seemingly not pressured by the outside world or the music industry to create 
a specific sound. You know what I mean? And 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 this is you know I'm not really throwing shade out there, but I really do appreciate what he's got going on. Um, and he's got the groove. Like he really has the groove. You know what I mean? And and it's very interesting to hear just the drum pockets and the random stuff that he's doing. Um, and he's an NPC head and I'm an NPC head myself. I have an NPC live. Um, I've been making beats here for three or four years. Um, and I've, I've drew some inspiration from him. So there you guys have it. That was Jay Phil. Make sure you go check him out. He's got some new music coming out. He's got some sample packs. He's giving out free game. Hey, you guys go check him out. But until next time, peace.